Oh yeah, I know we've been giving you guys a lot of disappointment lately as far as streams that were advertised and not follow through on today's not one who's paid for a squat in general. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome tall, welcome small. We are all coming together in the absolute digital underground pub known as the Air Gun Underground. Please give me a sound check if you think I'm directed live 5x5 five five on the audio, both the music on the background as well as my personal vocals. Please throw it down. Yeah, count on hell. Yeah, I built suspense. I built suspense. That's it. Last word. Welcome, our ranch air gun fun channel. Another fellow content creator. Welcome to the conundrum. Maybe I'll pop in. Buddy. Everyone out there, we are doing a big fat giveaway today, by the way. It's going to be $150 total value being given away. And I am going to try and enter each and every single one of you for no money out of pocket. Do stick around for the entirety of the show. Once again, big sound check, sound check, sound check for all my good friends out there. If my vocals are coming through nice and clear, extra crispy for you boys today, do throw it down. If you can hear the background music, do throw it down as well. Standing feedback, gentlemen. Thank you very much. It is the absolute outpouring of comments and support from each and every single one of you that adds the value to this show. I have no feedback nor sounding board on these lives except that which you give me. Thank you very much, guys.
Moving right down to it on our countdown, gentlemen. No fakes, no fraud, no bullshit news. Today we will be unveiling the Blitz Mini Smash Light Boys. Brandon, absolute, absolute congratulations to you, my guy, on your brand new S45 purchase. Absolutely sick that you went ahead and showed that sign of support, the ovation of donation through the promo code. Using that promo code back to fintechnllc.com. Get at me in my email box. Maccabee Speeds Garage at gmail.com for the comments. Get at me with your gift. All right, as you guys can see quickly here, I just not let up to throw down my email at macabeespeedsgarage at gmail.com. That's where you can get in touch with me for all the things great and small regarding the print world of air guns. Brandon, once again, get up. Thank you. Say we go ahead and light this candle, boys. Don't quite have all of my music, all of my intros, all of my everything else dialed into a T, except for the feedback that you find, gentlemen, out there in streaming land giving, but I'm happy. To be here. Should I try and rip it? Should I try and rip it? I mean, I don't have the background music. If you guys are old school, if you guys know what the real deal is, throw it down in the comments right now if you think I should rip that old school intro. If I get, if I get, I don't know, 10 people to throw out and rip it in the chat, we will absolutely do so. Let's go ahead and switch over to our other thing. You can see who is in the chat with us today. So there's been a few streams up to the uh, recent point in time. Where I've had to cancel and it's been 100% out of my control. Choose to everyone here. Effectively, my internet service provider has been going through upgrades for my enjoyment and comfort and uh, user experience in my area as far as service provider is concerned. Absolutely sucks because I get these little emails about four minutes before they cut my service off for, you know, 12 to 18 hours at a time and perform these upgrades. Hopefully long term it'll add to reliability of these streams because it does take a high bandwidth to go ahead and give you guys something crispy. But that is the reason why I haven't been able to go ahead and follow through. Seems in our chat with us. I'm really glad I actually made this one. I mean, honestly, this is one of my most enjoyable things that I do across the scope of my life hands down this is absolutely one of the most enjoyable things 
I am an abrasive person. You've ever emailed me, talked to me on the phone, dealt with me in real life, like actual life. I'm an abrasive guy. Hence, I don't have like tons and tons of friends out in the real world, especially like outside of my work circle. You gentlemen at this electronic pub here, the Air Gun Underground, hosted by the voice of the Air Gun. Can't, I, can't, I can't tell you how much more I like this than any other place I typically go. Thank you for each and every single one of the 44 people here currently joining us. 44 people, only 14 likes. Do the math, smash the like. Let's get into the chat here. Garrett Gallant, Garrett Gallant, super member, super top tier member. Garrett Gallant, welcome. Big shout out to you, brother. I hope you are loving that that absolutely sick one of one prototype edition rail kit for your F45. Coffee's trying to come back up, but I can't do that. It would go viral. You may wish to get a Wix cradle if you're using self internet. Uh, I'm not. I'm actually on the fiber now. They're trying to tell me I'm on the fiber. I don't buy it because it ain't no fast, but they're telling me I'm on fiber. Saw the video about it. I had to add it to the Arsenal brand and says 50 cal upgraded Dragon Claw and 30 cal Blitz. The 30 cal Blitz is really what's going to be the subject of discussion today, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I am not pulling your leg. I have brought you guys some goofy stuff in the past. I am not above saying 100% I have brought you guys some goofy stuff. This is not one of those times. I've got serious, legit parts in it. Everything is tight. Everything is solid. Everything functions as intended from the factory and the amount of energy that I actually have lost over the crony from the full length barrel to the compact ass short at each version in front of us. Almost in front of us here. It's 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 negligible. It's negligible. I can live with it, especially with an extended mag on it. I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of meat on the bone here as far as this su this subject, this topic is concerned. And I got to tell you, there's a lot of energy and enthusiasm behind the whole theory of making something a mini. The S45 absolutely is a breakaway platform in the air gun community for multiple reasons. Power, shot count, high caliber, FPE deposited on target, and realistically, when you use those 200 grain hater makers from Lucky7AirAmmo.com, you can reach all the way out to 100 grams of speeds. Telling you guys. It's a lot of reasons like the S-34. Mini takes it one step further and puts that whole S-45 like framework in a much smaller footprint so as to make it a work on it for you user. I gotta tell you, there's nothing about what I'm speaking about now that makes me unhappy, right? All of these things are good things. Um, hence, case in point. I love the Blitz. Blitz Karen? Love the Blitz. It's like the number one reason that this channel was formed back in 2020 was to go ahead and try and really get not only myself familiarized with the Blitz, but also to try and get some good viewership off the Blitz after seeing Rick Rem do it. Guy's like my hero, right? So, the one thing that everyone has always announced of the community is far and good. The Blitz consumed, the Blitz gangs consumed, is they wanted to be smaller. They wanted to be smaller. They wanted someone out there to have the testicular fortitude required to go ahead and cut up. That's what it really comes down to. And I think that, you know what, if, if not me, then who? I, mean, I, I feel like I'm one of the few individuals currently in the Blitz game that has multiples of every single part that makes it run. I got all the two gears, I got all the connecting rods, I got everything, I got Valve pins, valves, barrels, shrouds, everything necessary to basically make one except the receiver. That's what I have in my parts now. So, am I heavily out of focus? I'm being dang, what is this? What is this? The amateur hour. Is that any better? I think it might be trying to focus here on my coffee cup. Are we focusing on my coffee cup? I want to give these boys a crispy show. I want to give these guys a crispy show here.
Oh, that's significantly better. Yes, that's significantly better. Hopefully, if, if you like what you're seeing right now and you like the effort necessary to go ahead and put in a good show, please do throw it down the stage. Like, back to the left at that hand. What we are dealing with... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop for one moment. Edmund Leon. Edmund Leon, thank you so much for joining the conundrum, dude. I am so happy to see you, brother. I have not been ignoring you this week. I have been seeing your messages, and I have been so absolutely, unbelievably beyond what one person should be subjected to spread thin. I apologize, my guy. I'm not ghosting you. I'm slow to get back to correspondence sometimes because I'm just so spread thin. I'm so grateful to have you here, brother. Ah, Garrett Gallant, challenger side level. What up, what up? Adam, welcome. 60 year old Marine. I'm looking to get for a regulated gun with a. Uh, with my limited means and budget, I'd like something in 357 Challenger Pro 9mm. Challenger Pro 357. The only way I'd own a Blitz if it, is if it were handmade by Mac as a BB Speed. I could not trust it otherwise. They're super simple machines, brother. It's a push pull mechanism. Straight up, it's a legit push pull mechanism. I'm going to go ahead and throw the big frame down on it and try and garner some likes by explaining to you guys in YouTube friendly format in very short order exactly how the hats on blitz works. You squeeze the trigger after you put around in the breach. Bang! Projectile leaves the barrel. After the projectile leaves the barrel, there is a blast of pressurized air that has been released from the tank. That pressurized air catches the cup that the pellet goes to. The air charge is on a crown-based trajectory, so it goes outwards and pushes the cup forward. That's your blowback mechanism. There's a cyclic gear internally that reverses that motion and sends the bolt backwards. What happens next? Hammer spring. Boom. Pull me push mechanism of the push-pull. Hammer spring sends it forward after the momentary lapse of bolt in the breach, which allows the pellet to cycle forward, bang, next pellet is chambered in. The whole process repeats. If you're ever unclear on what makes this work, that is like the internal combustion engine breakdown of how a blitz works. I'm telling you guys, I, I do know what I'm talking about here, and I think it's going to be manifested in this very short blitz behind me. That's a full-length blitz, and this is a little one next to me. This is also my S45 Mini right next to it for comparative purposes. Transition. Ah! You know what they say? When you can teach about it, you really understand what you're talking about. I can tell you all what I'm talking about with blitz guns. I'm talking. What up, what up, what up, what up? Samuel Horowitz, what up? Welcome to the conundrum. Mac, I'm really blind, so I first jam and get frustrated with it and start shooting my element max. I understand. I understand. The blitz is amazing. Zero problems with it. Nothing I like putting more than 16 rounds on a target at 100 yards. I agree. I absolutely agree. Oh, this is good. This is good. That was good. That got me effed up. I definitely did like explaining that. And if you have any doubt whether I know what the heck I'm talking about with hats on blitz, exit now. Let's go ahead and talk about a success and let's go ahead and talk about a failure right now i've been an absolute wildly successful with every single thing that i put my hands to as far as the defender twos are concerned these sabos that we tested in the last video for the defender twos hold on something has happened i did hear a thing when i hear the thing i have to check in and see what's happened gold Gold, it's, it's another F. I'm that. Gold F, subscribe to the channel. All right, cool, cool. That's very cool. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Jimmy Ryan, what up, what up, what up? LCS SK19 from No Thank You. I hear you, my guy. We've been wildly successful with the Defender platform and every single thing that we put our hands to with it. The Sabo testing in 457 that we did last week actually is a world record as far as I'm concerned. Until somebody shows me a Ronnie reading that's more than 71 foot pounds of energy. I am the only person at this point to crest the 70 foot pound mark. I do believe it's got to be with the 455.5, 456 sized silk sabo uh, ammunition that has very, very, very little drag, very little resistance, and is pretty much in this case a effectiveness magnifier, I believe. The 71 foot pound shot is repeatable. It's not a fluke. I am absolutely willing to 
repeat this for anyone. And over over a string of shots, we can see how many are actually going to be above that level. But I'm telling you guys, you've been absolutely wildly successful with these defenders. So successful, in fact, that I've actually gone ahead and chopped some barrels on one of the defenders that I want to own two of these guys. And you can see that we've got the defender compact. And we've got the defender full length and the barrels do go all the way to the end there. Am I flagging you guys? Do you feel uncomfortable with this? Is that weird? I feel uncomfortable like pointing it at my camera. Low key because I know that this one is kind of like prop gun right now. Not not like Alec Baldwin. Or uh, yeah, Alec Baldwin prop gun. But uh, this one here is, is, is in a much more state of dangerousness. So I don't like pointing it at my camera. But in the same sense, I think you guys get the picture. This is long and taser -like. This is short and stumpy. They're both extremely lethal. I think Brandon Herrera proved that to us this last week when he did the Abe Lincoln Derringer recreation historical assassination video. It was extremely well done. That was an extremely well done video. And I believe in my heart that that's the basis for the video that needs to be done with this Defender 2. I need to get a head, like a ballistic gel head and skull like he had so that I can use his data that he has already laid down about the Derringer that was proven fatal, proven lethal hundreds of years ago with Abe Lincoln and make, and make it very clear that the Defender 2 is, is, is above that power level. It's greater than or above that power level. I don't drink and I'm coming up on eight solid years of sobriety, June 6th, baby, eight years, legitimate years. But I would do the white claw test he does with a rock star can and compare the results. Boom, frame for frame. What's his can look like? What's my shit look like? And we do the same thing with the ballistic gel head, right? And then and see what the real deal holy field analog target style impact is versus known as close as we're gonna really get to lab calibrated results. I trust Brandon Herrera. Brandon Herrera has been on YouTube enough and has a good enough body of work and enough credentials to his name where I pretty much take the stuff and says at face value. Obviously, everything's open to interpretation and in the free country, you can have your own opinion about stuff, but Brandon Herrera is pretty spot on with a lot of the data. Not opinions, whatever you want to think about opinions. The data that he brings to the table should be accurate. So, we can go ahead and take an extrapolate and compute his ballistic shell ahead and guarantee it to the translation of the modern day Darren here, which requires 5,000 steps, just like that Captain Paul did. See what the effect of this is. I think this is viable. I think this is viable. I think this, this is super viable. And if you if you like this idea, do throw down a like right now so that I know that this is on the right target form of you. I think it is. I think it is. I think you guys are going to like it. Alright, let's go. My man. My man, you know what? I was just thinking about my good personal friend, Sam Houston, the other day. Now, you guys might ask me, why was I thinking? Why was I thinking about Sam Houston? Because I got some really nice bolt handles that Sam made me so long ago. Still has some billet bolt handles. And now, thanks to airguntactical.com, I have an, uh, what is it, S45, a, a 45 caliber HP Max coming in sshp max in 457 caliber that bolt handle is going to be right at home and i always flex because i like flossy shit so i'll be putting it on right away sam houston thank you for coming in today my guy and i hope you're doing well out there i really hope you're doing well out there brother jimmy ryan welcome mike love welcome llc 24 7 welcome gary otis in the house welcome brandon welcome jimmy welcome no thank you welcome edmund leon welcome brandon once again samuel horowitz in the house Zach, ah, goldfish, goldfishy man, goldfishy man. I see you, my guy. I see you, my guy. You are the most recent subscriber to come across the feed. As you guys probably can tell by now, you can't chat in my house if you ain't subscribed. That's because I want to make sure that it's all friends here. People need to feel like the Airgun Underground, these digital pub environments, is a cool, safe place for everybody to come where we're not going to be harassed by a bunch of bullshit people. So if you're not subscribed, you have. No voice in this conversation. Welcome to the club. Uh, Zach, reliability is better than power because air guns won't generate enough power to cause hydrostatic shock. Zach, I agree with you, my guy. I think that's why the Hatson Blitz Mini, coupled with the high capacity magazine, is actually more lethal than the S45, even the long version. 
one version is like so much significant, but significantly more power than the other ones. You really have to do the math. I don't want to throw out wild accusations here, but, but you could definitely make more power to more combined energy with the the larger capacity mag and the half time blitz many than you can with the S1. Ryan Scott in the house. Welcome, welcome. Uncle Grim, welcome, welcome. Blitz gang. Sean Burdick, love your channel. Blitz in 22 caliber or S45? Not even a question. Don't even play with that Blitz in 22 caliber. The Blitz in 22 caliber was boy. Really, well, fuck, I can't say that. I don't ever, don't ever quote me as saying the Blitz in 22 caliber is a toy. It's not. That was me misspeaking and looking down upon a small bore caliber in a way that I should not, and it's also a dangerous thought pattern to follow. Blitz 22 caliber is in no way the same class of machine as the Blitz 30 caliber. They cost all the same across the board. There's no reason not to get 30 caliber straight up. Also, with the 3D printing environment that we all live in currently in this modern world, anybody can make a 30 caliber sabot that holds a 22 caliber pellet. So you can shoot them for about the same cost. I'm telling you right now, there's no advantage having a 22 caliber Blitz. Just there ain't. There ain't, there ain't, there ain't. So get the S45. If you're questioning that, get the S45. But if you're questioning 30 caliber Blitz or S45, get the 30 caliber Blitz first because that bitch will run, dude. If you get your S, if you get your Blitz to run, those settings that you set will stay in that setting as long as you don't dick with it. If you don't try to turn it up, mess with it, do anything like that, and you don't like, you know, throw it on the ground a bunch of times, it's going to work for you. It's way more reliable in my mind than the S45 is as a platform, but only because of the fact that Hatson has so many other offerings up to that point that really did refine their ability to put together reliable semi-auto. The, the hats on sortie, the bullmaster, the, the Galatian semi-auto. There's def there's a lot of road work that was laid to get to the point where we're at the level of the hats on invader being reliable, the hats on blitz being reliable, doing so in fully automatic. There's a, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost like those previous models were generations of a set of a semi-automatic blitz, at least in mechanical theory. Okay, Mike Love, what up, what up, what up, Mike Love, great to see you, brother. I have a blitz on the way, where do I find parts? You'll never find them. You gotta have a donor gun. If you if you mean like replacement parts, and I'm, I'm speaking right to you, uh, Jeff, Jeff Benjamin, as far as replacement parts on the blitz, the only replacement part that I even know of that exists, there's one eBay listing where you can get a valve pin. The valve pin is 40 bucks and some change plus a few bucks in shipping and it comes from Poland. This is the only part that I know of as far as a replacement part that you can physically get the gear the tooth gears you got to have a donor gun barrel donor gun shroud donor gun everything is all donor gun unless it's that valve pin which is replaceable through ebay and if anybody is interested maccabee speeds garage at email uh, maccabee speeds garage at gmail.com and i will give you the link for ebay so you can see it for yourself you know what even better i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pin that link of that valve pin in the comment section of this live stream once this stream is over and it'll just be the pinned comment that way anybody who has fucked up blitz and wants to replace the valve pin it's a really easy process once you have the part so i'll, I'll throw that link in the description in the, in the uh, comments for you guys jeff if you're not looking for replacement parts and you're looking for rail kits bro today is your day today is your day my guy anyone who throws down the phrase Blitz gang in any format, any format, be it hashtag blitz gang one word or blitz gang two words in the comment section of this video, not the chat. I just want to be very clear about that. You guys throw down blitz gang in the comment section of this video. When the video is over next live stream, I will be doing, I will be doing a drawing, the drawing will be for a $150 value tactical carbon fiber quad rail, the Razorback edition for the Hats on Blitz. This was supposed to go for my Hats on Blitz Mini, and I missed the calculations on the bottle by about a quarter of a millimeter. The bottle on my Hats on Blitz Mini is different than the bottle on the Hats on Blitz Standard. And this is off the Hats on Blitz Standard measurements. So it's like measure twice, cut once, measure twice, cut once. I went off of my Standard Blitz measurements, which this will fit, and it doesn't fit my Mini. Uh, we're going to find the silver lining here, though, and we're going to make one of you guys a winner. I want to go ahead and give this beast away. You can go ahead and get the red or the green fiber optic. I haven't even installed the fiber optic on the top rail yet. 
whatever you like. All you gotta go ahead and do is in the comment section of this video, not the chat, in the comment section of this video, when the video is over, comment Blitz Gang. Because I wanna go ahead and make winners and not excuses like some channels I see out there, I'm also gonna go through and I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of the people who are trying to enter at this point. I would much rather make winners than excuses and this doesn't cost me anything except time. For somebody else, this might be an ungettable thing. So I really wanna make somebody's day better. Let's go ahead and get those names done just like that. And once again, make it clear. Comment section, Blitz Gang, you're entered. Also, as a free thank you to anybody who goes ahead and super chats during this live stream, you're also going to be entered in this drawing extra entry. One entry per person. Can't do five super chats and get five entries. There you go. I think you guys have waited long enough. I think you guys have waited long enough. Let's go ahead and very, very, very first thing to do. Let's go ahead and inspect exactly what a hats on blitz is. What is a hats on blitz? Let's lay the groundwork for those of you who are uninitiated, the uninformed, the un- no, one, whatever. Dang, I'm usually pretty wordy, but today I dropped the ball on. I dropped the ball on. I think music off. This guy right here. This guy. I, gold fishing man. Hell yeah, it's 3D printed. My whole life is 3D printed. I've been lost in the Matrix since November, brother. I've been lost in the Matrix, but you know what? Now I have a 3D printing empire, and it's like, it's so gratifying. It's, it's the best thing I've ever done financially for my family, and it's the best thing I've ever done in Bobby Bones for myself. If I put all my machines in one direction and set them on the kill, I can make 5,000 reasons a day. That's huge! That's the kind of stuff that we're doing over here, my guy, and that's the kind of thing that the air gun underground is going to be a part of. YouTube, don't be a pussy. This is an air rifle. You can tell by the connotated air tank as well as the pressure gauge manometer underneath. Digital, right? because I like flexing stuff. 700 cc carbon fiber tank, floating bottle on this one, just because this is meant for accuracy, but you can kind of go ahead and get that visual impression of exactly how these rail kits slide on and off of your rifle. Very, very, very easy. Goes ahead and gives you support, real space, as well as in spots. Go ahead and add a body problem. This is the full set. It takes up like my whole frame. Where is my big frame? There. You know, mind it is. This should be an easy. Hats on Blitz is always meant to be the people who are underestimated or undereducated and inspired. Y'all wanna see it? Y'all wanna see it? I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'll give you guys one quick thing. Anybody who wants to go ahead and purchase something like this, go ahead and uh, email me at maccabeespeedsgarage at, at gmail.com. No space because I'm going to sounds maccabeespeedsgarage at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and bust it out for each and every single one of the 56 people here in the chat with us right now. 35 likes in the chat as well. Let's get those likes up. Unveiling the Hats on Blitz Mini. Let's go. So little, yo. It is so little. It is so, so, so little. Oh my goodness. Don't act like you don't love me. Soon? Very, very, very soon. Well, it's, uh, it's not really soon. It's actually like 34 and a half hours when the next part that I modified to fit this one that didn't fit on the first print comes out. So 34 and a half hours, we will have a new front floor end to take care of the stock one that's currently in place. It's going to come all the way back to here. It's going to cover everything except this small, skeletonized, thick-ass piece of barrel just hanging out there in space. You're going to be able to see your linkages running on, on film in this case, because I filmed it, right? All your linkage rods are exposed. 350cc tank, folding stock. Oh my God, dude. Yo, 
If you don't love this, you're on the wrong channel. Why do I have a Benjamin Marauder pistol size blitz? If you don't love this, fuck the fuck's wrong, dude. Oh. Yeah, boy. I'm telling you, I brought you guys some goofy shit before. That hat on blitz bullpup was ugly. That thing was double ugly. That thing needed to go home and like find some love from its mama because that was the only one that was gonna give it, give a shit about it this is completely opposite i do like it i do like the hollow sun gold dot we have sitting on top of here with the solar panel backup flip side bx magnifier also gold also the hollow sun titanium edition with the uh, cantilever riser ah it's a bad ride dudes digital gauge underneath as usual flex city what do you think i'm gonna go back to my chat and Fuego alert. Fuego alert. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Here we go. Here we go. Let's start at the top. He's 100 barrels. Ready for the main one. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Shadow Step Productions. Welcome, Nathan Petit. Welcome. I hope I said that right. Catch it. Nathan, catch it. Nathan Pete. Looked awesome, bro. Thank you very much, Zach. Can you pay another touch when you run out of ammo? When I run out of ammo, I'm going straight to my dual wheel defenders. And when I'm done with my dual wheel defenders, I'm pulling my S45 mini out of my pack, tethered on my baby bottle. And when that's done, I'm pulling my S45 full size off my back. And it's going to. No, I don't know. How, how, how does your end of the world fantasy play out? Right? Like, I mean, everybody's got their own, like, apocalypse wish list, right? We all have our own zombie way to go. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. Here we go. Here we go. AK Rock Town. That's nasty. Hell yeah. Craig Hone, welcome to the conundrum. Dudley Milben, how much? Uh, this is not for sale. It took so many parts and so much effort and so much work. Like, dude, I blew so many pellets up in the barrel just to get it to not clip pellets. <laughs> it's so ugly. I'm sitting there, sitting there like this, just shaking it, just shaking it. And I'm watching pieces of metal just fall out of the barrel like snow. And I'm like, oh my God, dude, if there's a wrong way to do it, you're sure showcasing it, buddy. That's not the right way telling you it's a lot of work to get to this point it was a lot of parts the rod is a different length and fully custom on threading the actual shoe piece that it ties into that's different that's stouter the cup itself is different this makes me scream. hope it makes you guys happy vicariously as well i've been waiting all week to get time to be able to finish this beast up i thought i was going to come out sick today didn't come out as sick as I was hoping it would. Here we are, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I think the only thing that we have left to do with this beast at this moment is go ahead and compare it to the size of the S45 Mini, which is currently set in standard. S45 Mini blew me away. Absolutely floored me with the form factor. For the power level that's being brought to the table, the S45 Mini is king as far as semi-autos in this in this um, size format. Comes up with my music. Did my music die? I got to set the mood. I got to set the mood. Right, I got to do it. So. On trick photography, they're just that small. Legit. They're within one inch in length. And when they fold up, let's do them safely. Extremely little. Same, extremely little. Same, exact, extremely little. The only way this could be made smaller at this point, I think, would be to go ahead and remove the muzzle brake and go to a 250cc tank. Counterproductive, though. Counterproductive, though. Shot count's going to be king when it comes to, to a semi-automatic uh, 
air rifle just because of the fact that you're going to want that shot count. Repeatability really is the silver lining when it comes to the semi-automatic air gun. And I think that sacrificing too much air charge is going to put you in the position of the AEA Defender not having enough air to go around as opposed to the way that this is now. Yeah, it's a little bit longer than some people want to see it, but I think that a really solid balance has been achieved here. And the fact that they were able to go ahead and put such a small form factor together and still maintain the level of energy that's being produced, not only at the muzzle, but also decent distances away. I feel like this is a real win. This is a real win. If you guys want one, definitely go to www.bintacllc.com and do use my promo code MHC. Promo code MAC on checkout gets you bonus gifts. And uh, it does help me out. It does actually help me out. I do get a kickback on that. It's the only person that I do take a promo code from because Ben at Bintac LLC has been absolutely phenomenal and a huge support of this channel and Unwavering Rock for over the last year. Based on that, it's just reciprocity, guys. And I absolutely can't recommend any other place other than Bintac. Having said that, I'm really looking forward to getting out and testing some more Sabo ammunition with these S45s. Let's talk about it. For those of you just joining us, do not fear, do not fret. I will absolutely be circling back around to the Hatsan Blitz Mini, which we have so deviously put together here. But for now, we'll go ahead and talk some Sabos. If you guys are lucky, if you guys are on the list, if you guys have gone ahead and taken the plunge and purchased a print from gmail.com you might have received some of these guys. I'm going to go closer. I can look at this camera like so. This is a 457 diameter Sabo printed in silk. Silk is very, very, very low friction coefficient. So this slides along the barrel good. And we saw some super, super sick velocity out of these at the range in the initial video, like over 1200 FPS on a couple of the shots. A lot of the shots in the 1100s were still super soon. Good point. I could throw a cheap ass Vortex Strike pellet in here, 357 Vortex Strike pellet, and I could shoot my S45 cheap. Excuse me. If I'm not here hunting with my S45 or big game hunting my F45 or whatever excuse me, I'm to say walk and I've been burning it down. I was trying to get better at my tactical computer and my engagements, I'm trying to get better at my, my corner thing, I'm trying to get better at whatever, whatever it is you want to talk At 75 cents per dollar or not, some of the big name Let's Go in seven, it almost makes sense to have something like this good. And that's why I think we're going to move on. I feel like we're going to go ahead and add a bag of these clothes to the giveaway for the giveaway that we typically started earlier in this episode. Once again, if you guys do want to get in on that, you got to be a fan of the channel. You to subscribe. you got to like this video. you got to go ahead and comment. Let's get in. And the comment section, not the chat bar. Chat bar might be generic, might not. Only guaranteed way, comment section. Also, anybody can super chat. These little suppose are really great. That's one of the main focal points I've really been trying to hit lately as far as energy consumer. Because of the amount of energy came not only in the S45, but also in the Defenders. It's like, even if, we, even if we go ahead and look at it right now, the Defender, I'm not going to open these up because they're set to the But they're supposed to be there right now because I keep my own dog. I believe if you think an idea is good and then you use a different idea, you don't really think that idea is that great. But I do absolutely 100% have some Sabos in the barrels ready to go right now. I always go ahead and try and do it in the best, most efficient way possible too. What ends up happening is you get the very end of the rolls of 3D printing filament and you don't have the ability to make large items with them anymore and get down to such a small amount. What we do is go ahead and weld them together on a filament splicer that I have, and then we just make multicolored sabots, right? 
comes out kind of cool. Comes out kind of cool. I, I like the look of it. It helps me burn up old material that I uh, normally would have just sitting on the shelf. And then you guys get all kinds of cool stuff when you open your mailbox. So it's a win-win for everybody. If you do like this, do throw it down and smash that like button, boys. What are we giving away? We're going to be giving away this real kit just in case you're just joining us. Now, typically, when this when this rifle is being used in the field, I use a smaller kit. See how this one's got no under armor as far as under armor. It's the register, register trademark under armor. Uh, this one's got the, the bash guard for the bottle on it here. And this one's the light version. This is the King Razorback light version. It's just got no bottle whatsoever. Just our tri-rail. Nice green, glossy ass, rubber optic sight there. Oh, 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 I see something. I see something. Hold on. Hold on. Mark Bostic is in there like swimwear. I see that. I see that from space. Look at that. Look at that. Catherine Harris, welcome. Mark Bostic, welcome, OG. Welcome. I cannot thank you enough for that ovation of donation. Just going over the Blitz Razorback light. Tighten a couple of grub screws. Ready for battle. Work hard, play hard. Freaking awesome, Mac. That's killer. Hell yeah, brother. I appreciate that support. I really appreciate that support. It took me eight solid weeks of blowing everything else in my entire life off to learn how to be able to make 3D printers do what they do now. But I am extremely happy with which point that we've gotten to. Mark Bostic, one more time. Absolutely massive shout out to you, brother. You are in the drawing. You are in the running for the Blitz Gang Razorback Rail Giveaway. Hell yeah, brother. Captain Harris, welcome to Conundrum. Ernest Peterson, welcome, welcome. Aaron Loman, that's effing cool. Hell yeah. Captain Harris, I'm late. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. This one's going to be up. I'm, I haven't, I've stopped deleting my, my uh, live streams now because the algorithm hates me when I do that. I like that a lot. Very nice. Hell yeah. Did you guys see the one that I did for the Big Nine Challenger side lever? <sighs> Fuego alert. Fuego alert. I'm telling you guys. Umarit, Umarit Gauntlet ship loose. Dang, that doesn't sound good. Almost 50 people here. Almost 50 likes. That's the kind of ratio that I like. That's the kind of ratio I like. I do want to go ahead and circle back around. I'm going to wipe the sweat out of my eye real quick. Did we get through all of our music? Did the studio lights burn me up here? And did the time frame on our live stream burn up all of our music? It did. Restarting. I will make sure that over the next couple of days I add to this playlist so that we can keep the diversity of music on the strongest ear coming live stream on YouTube. Last time we had some extremely juicy prizes in the sense that I have fiber optic iron sight hats on blitz barrel bands here. We did some drawings. I threw down my email address. I got no correspondence from any winners. So if you are a winner, if you are a person who won one of these barrel bands last time on the giveaway, contact me, my guys. It takes no money to ship you some money. Ask, ask anybody. I'm just, I'll send you something. I'm shipping it on my dollars. So you don't even have to pay for shipping. You don't need an address. It's genius. It's a beginner's map. I think there's some people going ahead and joining us at this point. Who won't be going to be initially on board this thing? It's too Again, the music is messing with your mind. Not good. What if I just talk louder? Is that better? Also, what the heck is happening here? Also, what we might be having happen, happen here, Garrett, is the playback on the TV may not like the way we've got something called side chain at this point. Side chain sets the music volume down by about 70% whenever I'm speaking, whenever I shut up, kicks it back on. So maybe that might be what we are dealing with then. Who's better? And if there's a sound check issue, maybe I'm not. A lot of times in my life. 
Also, I have absolutely no way to tell what is going on volume levels wise without your feedback. So do know that 100% your feedback make this a better show. Thank you very much, ZKR99 and Garrett Gallant. I can't thank you guys enough. Wilder, oh, thank you. Wilder Romijan. Hi from Holland. Welcome. Been waiting to see this boss stealth Genet X. Wait no longer. This is such a good optic. This gold dot could literally survive a lot of things. This hollow sun gold dot titanium with the titanium magnifier is absolutely fuego. This is the Hats on Blitz Mini for any of those of you who are just joining us. I did want to make this kind of a more convoluted, long drawn out stream so that those who are just joining us, you get a good look at this thing. 350cc tank once again. David King, what up, what up, what up? Wilder, what up? Kaboom. I've entered the drawing for this. I entered the drawing for the smaller barrel band. Did you win? Did you win? I can go back and check. I, I can't go back and check at this moment, obviously, because I'm running the stream. But if you're a winner, email me, brother. I'm, I'm dying to put these in people's hands. I want smiles on faces. I want smiles on faces, and I'm making winners, not excuses. I want to see some people get this stuff. Definitely do. I can hear you in the music. It's fine. I only got one ear, so you're good. Oh, sick. You know what? As long as I'm good now, that's all that matters to me. I do try and bring you guys the crispiest show in the air gunning community. And it is something I take very seriously. Your feedback makes all the difference in the world. Okay, B, that's pretty bad. Oh, that's badass. Hey, sweet. I'm so glad I showed it up there just because Mark Bossick had not seen it. Mark, look how little it gets. Dude, look how little it gets. Is that, a, is that a Marauder pistol? No, it's my Blitz 30. Ah, I'm telling you, boys, this is sick, dude. This is sick. If there ever was a time to be an air gunner, it's now. It's now. It's definitely now. With all the gun control, with all the talk of gun control, with all the infringing on good, sane, sober, moral, law-abiding citizens' rights, I feel like now is the absolute sunset of the golden age of air gunning. What do I mean by that? I think that for a long time, we've had it really good. For a long time, we've had a really good run. And now here we are in the modern age. Everybody's got an Instagram. Everybody's got a social media. Everybody sees what I do. You do. Your mom does. Whatever the case may be. My videos are popular. Other air gunners' videos are popular. They're starting to figure this out. The days that we have as air gunners in an unregulated sport where we can just have stuff shipped to our door, we can just shoot it in your backyard, probably a waning time frame. I don't say this as, as a negative, uh, you know, overtly uh, doom and gloom style of a narrative, but you know what? I think we have to go ahead and at least accept the way the, the world is going at this point as realists and say, you know what? They're probably going to close the noose on the air guns as an unregulated thing as a whole. I think if you wanted to get into air gunning, don't let anything stop you at this point because now might be the only time when you can truly, freely experience the sport in the Wild West type setting that we have right now. I mean, there's so many caveats that are available for air gunners that just don't exist for the firearms community. I mean, by all definitions, by all rights, by all regards, SBR. You can't own this if this burns powder. Just this right here alone. This would fucking piss my whole state off if this was on a firearm. So I make it very clear in every single video that these are items for air guns only. And this is an air gun, not a firearm, because the, re the regulations that go on the firearms are significantly more stringent. What's the point? The point isn't to focus on the negative aspect of more regulation uh, you know, undoubtedly coming down the line in the near to distant future. The, the focal point here should be 
Get it while you can, baby. Get it while the getting is good. While you're still able to enjoy this with your air gunning brothers and sisters out there and still able to have this type of freedom with this type of hobby, fucking carpe diem this shit, man. Seize the day. Do not sleep on this because you may never, never have the freedoms and availabilities that you currently have in this school. It's going to be an absolutely great, great, great place to go ahead and end today's episode. But if you like today's episode, give it a thumbs up. You want to see more content like this? Make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button. You can stay current on the channel as well as when these videos come up. If you really like this live stream, make sure you share it so that somebody else can see the Blitz Mini. I'll catch you boys in the neck. Soon as this video closes, there's going to absolutely be a comment section that opens up. Every single person subscribed to this channel who liked this stream and drops Blitz Gang of any spelling in the comments are going to be entered in the giveaway. Mark Bostic, thank you very much for that ovation and donation. Garrett, thank you very much for gracing us with the present member. I can't thank you enough. I'll catch you boys in the next one.